common request uh, for infinite skin specifically is how do you maintain highlights on the image or how do I bring back more highlights? And inherently infinite skin is a tool that can diminish the texture of the fine pores of an image to help you expedite the retouching process, or it can also enhance and smooth out the transitions between highlights and shadows. And what tends to happen is we do have a um, highlight protection option here. So first of all, you always want to make sure that is selected in case you want to ensure highlights are protected. As you can see here, uh, when I click it and turn it on, the brightest highlights are visible. Now there's two ways that you can do this. Um, you can obviously enable this, which is a good start. But what happens is if I turn this group on and off, you'll see that the results will also kind of null the highlights and, and remove some of that pop. Oh, I should I should say pop. That's the most overused word. I should say the um, specularity of the highlights. Okay, let's say you want to bring that back. Well, it's actually not that difficult. What you can do is instead of dealing with masks, which you obviously can do, maybe you want to just click on your mask like this, use a black brush and paint back the highlights. But maybe you don't want to do that because you actually liked that the way the highlights were smoothed out. Maybe you just want to bring that specularity back. So if that doesn't do it for you, one thing that I like to do is once your once your work is done, <laughs> what a bad mask, but that was just a general example. We're not gonna, we're not gonna judge that for now. But once your uh, mask is done, and your infinite retouch looks good and you just want those highlights to come back a little bit, what you are going to do is firstly, make sure that um, your mask is not selected. Just make sure that the folder is selected. If your mask is selected, it'll look like this. This is just, just in case um, you do not want this mask to be highlighted is what I'm trying to say, okay? Um, then you're gonna go to select color range and here we go, you wanna select highlights and you wanna bring the range all the way to the right. I <laughs> just want to make sure, uh, to the right. And then you want to just increase or decrease that, okay? If it doesn't look like this, make sure it's not set to invert because now it's selecting everything except those highlights. So make sure that this invert is not selected and you're just changing the fuzziness. And this will change from image to image, but just select something like this where you can see the highlights more so. Um, and that should be good. Then I'm going to say OK. And you'll see these little bugs and dots. Don't click anywhere. OK, do not click anywhere until you go to your adjustment layers and click on curves. Then when you do that, you are going to just either increase this side like this. And you'll see those highlights start popping back. Or you can also do the middle too. It shouldn't matter too much. Um, but yeah, if you bring that curve up, right turns on and off, you'll see those highlights come back. Okay. And if you would like, uh, you can go in there and ch check a different parameter and also use that to soften up shadows. So for instance, maybe <laughs> infinite color soften up too much of the shadows. You can kind of do the same thing by going to select color range, and then this time saying shadows and determining which shadows you want to, to bring up. Um, we're only gonna focus on the face. Uh, we won't focus on anywhere else because we're gonna be masking for the face if you would like to do it. So what happens is the shadows are selected. I'm gonna say yes. And I'll do the same thing. I'll go to curves, but this time I will drag it lower like that, okay? And then of course, anywhere that is not the face, you would mask out or an easier way is you can drag this curve into a folder calling this shadows. And then you can just use this mask over here like that. Um, I can simply put hit hold command on my keyboard, click on this mask, come over to shadows, and then click on the mask icon. And then, then only the shadows are a deep end. That's just another a fun little trick little tip to bring back your highlights and shadows. So let me call this highlights and shadows. And if I turn them both on and off, you'll kind of see what I mean. But yeah, you get the idea. You don't necessarily have to do that because you can see here that 
maybe the shadows got a little bit softer so i just brought some of that back and some of the highlights back this way it allows the panel to smooth things out as it's intended but then using independent highlight and shadow control to determine whether or not you want to bring them back selectively and the specularity i think that looks good anyways i hope you had a great time watching this learn something new something to take away even for some of the other stuff that you do and uh, please join our instagram and facebook communities at infinite-tools.com submit your work there we always feature people and we love to connect with our audience anyways take care have a great day and uh, make use of this panel and go have a lot of fun